morning everyone um welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing um it's kind of different for me actually um not too long ago i received a package um that i ordered from bh cosmetics and i bought um a brush set in this pink um it comes in a pink case and it comes with 14 different brushes so yeah um, so I decided that, hey, it's kind of going to be a challenge for me, but I'm going to try to do a full face look. My goal is to use all the brushes in here. They pretty much give you a brush for everything from eyebrows to face to contour to blush to even highlight, um, crease brushes and everything like that. So yeah, um, we're going to get right into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and take all the brushes out of here and I'm just going to lay them out in front of me just so I can um, see everything. But let me just show you how cute they are. So they're like pink with a rose gold top and um, the brushes look amazing to be honest. And um, I've tried these cosmetic brushes before. Um, I bought the black polka dot kit. I really like that one. Um, it's actually pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay these right here. And um, yeah. Oh wait, maybe they didn't give me a foundation brush actually. Um, I don't think this is a foundation brush. I think this is, um, maybe this is the foundation brush. I'm not 100% sure. I think this, I'm going to use this as my foundation brush. It kind of looks like it would be. It's kind of dense and round. So I'm going to go ahead and use this for my foundation, actually. Just so I can um, stick with the theme of using all the brushes and the foundation and everything to do my whole face. So, yeah. Um, let's get right into it. Um, obviously, I'm just going to keep this as a voice because I'm going to talk throughout. Um, so yeah. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my usual, what I do when I prime my face. I'm going to go ahead with my Farsali Rose Gold Oil. And then I'm going to go ahead and prime it with my Tarte um, Clean Slate Timeless Primer. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get my um, concealer now. I mean, not concealer, <laughs> my foundation. So yeah, I already went ahead and I spritzed um, the small brush, um, which is number three. So number three and number two are both powder brushes, but I'm going to use the small one as my foundation brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply the product like this, and then we'll see how it works. This is definitely a challenge for me guys because I usually apply my foundation with a beauty blender or like an actual, um, like my, um, what's it called? My, um, Morphe, what it's right here, what is it? Um, let's see, oh, right here. Um, my Morphe E6, that's what I usually, um, if I'm going to use a brush, that's what I usually use. Um, so, yeah. to see so this uh brush number eight is a concealer brush so i'm actually gonna go ahead and um use that to blend this out and see how it works it's so weird for me to use like a small brush to like um blend this out because i'm so used to like using um a brush or a beauty blender to be honest but I'm doing this for you guys so so far this brush is actually really good to be honest um, I kind of like it 
Now, obviously, if you're used to, like, applying, um, like, concealer and all that kind of product with a brush, then this won't be an issue for you guys. So, yeah. It's not my favorite way to apply this, but the brush does do the job, to be honest. So, so far, I'm giving it a good impression. This is literally like a first impressions of everything, to be honest. I'm saying to be honest way too much. <laughs> okay. So that's done. I'm just going to go ahead and um, go back in with my BH Cosmetics 3 brush, um, which is the small face brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and like pat everything down here. Just to make sure that there is no streaking or anything like that. Just to make sure everything looks good. So, yeah. Oh my god. Okay, I just forgot to grab this. Um, but yeah. So far, it feels really good with um, my Soft Osher from MAC. And I'm going to go in with the 4 brush, which is actually an angled crease brush. Um, I mean, I'm not a fan. Of, see how, like, bulky it is? I... Uh, I don't know. I've never used a brush like that, so I'm not really much of a fan of it. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and, um, let me see. Is there an, yeah. So, like, I have this right here, and I have that. So, I'm going to use this as my crease brush, which is number seven. So, I'm just going to go ahead and use this to actually apply my um, primer. Um... If you guys have actually used this kind of brush before um, in your crease, definitely tell me how it was and like how you how you applied it. Or maybe if you're a YouTuber and you've used this kind of brush in your crease before and you have like an in-depth eye tutorial video where you applied with this kind of brush, definitely let me know and I'll check it out because it's kind of weird for me to use it because I feel like it's... It's so bulky, so it's like, I don't, I don't know how you would, I don't know, like, I personally don't know how I would do it, because I'm so used to, like, I like getting in deep into my, um, conceal, into my crease, not concealer, so, yeah. So, yeah, but, I mean, this brush works really good for applying your eyeshadow base. Um, I use a paint pot generally, so I mean, but I'm pretty sure it'll work for anything. So, yeah. Alright, so the eyes are pretty much primed. So, um, now that I think about this, this is actually a first of everything video. So, yeah. Um, I ordered a while back, I ordered the K-Pop 4 Quad from ColourPop. Um... When I, I originally ordered it when the satin lips came out and I ordered some of them, but I didn't get the K-pop quad um, when I ordered it, so I got it at a later date. Um, I emailed them and stuff, and ColourPop has been above and beyond with their customer service and helping out and everything like that. So, like, whenever, like, you order a product and, like, you, for some reason, didn't get it, because it was a big order or they've been like super busy and stuff they're definitely on top of that and will help you find everything that you need to find so yeah all right so um it comes in four shade four different shades um you have one one shimmer Alrighty. so um yeah we're gonna go ahead and just use the k-pop shadows um, they are one shimmer, comes in one shimmer, and these are the shades right there. Can't really see them, but they're fairly, um, they're fairly, like, perfect for a smoky eye. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead with, um, K-pop Wilshire, and I'm gonna use that as, uh, my transitions shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and use brush number seven shadow um blending brush so i'm gonna go ahead and um do that and i actually think these brushes are perfect because i if i'm not mistaken i think they're cruelty free synthetic brushes so this is actually perfect for um for 
ColourPop shadows, so I'm actually super excited. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and apply this into the crease of the eye. So I went ahead and already applied um, that. So I'm going to go in with one um, one shade darker. And this is K-pop Crenshaw. And this is like a deep um, chocolate brown. Actually, the camera is actually lighting, making it lighter. But it's definitely a dark shade. And I'm actually going to... Um, yeah, I'm actually just going to um, use the, I'm going to brush off my brush and I'm going to go ahead and um, use this dark shade. And I'm just going to pat it little by little first. And then I'm going to go ahead and at an angle, build the shade up in the outer area and then bring it in. Because looking at the brushes, I don't see like an angled crease. So yeah, as you see, I'm just going ahead and building that shade up little by little because this is a dark shade. So yeah, I like to do that and then just, yeah. So this is what I have so far. I'm loving it. This brush is actually, guys, I think I finally found the brush that works good for me for ColourPop shadows. I'm so excited. So we're going to go ahead and do the other. I'm going to go ahead with the last color, um, the last crease color. So I'm actually going to go ahead and like build everything up. And the last is K-pop Beverly. And this is like a deep purple burgundy shade like it's just gorgeous um so i'm just gonna go back up some product and we're gonna see how this shade works so it picks up product really well though like if you want this like look it picks up so much product i'm so scared i'm so scared Oh, okay. Okay. It works really well. So I found the way. Um, this is the brush number four, which is the crease brush. So you see how it's angled? So I put the angle in my crease and the flat on the, on the top part. So it applies product like perfectly in your crease like this. Oh my God. Brush actually works really well, guys. Um, I'm actually super surprised. Not now. I'm filming. Oh. <laughs> it actually is, applies super well. So it's angled like ooh, it's angled like this and it's a flat top. So the best way that I figured out to apply it is the angled part like this and then push up and blend out. So I'm not going to add any more product to that eye. I'm actually just going to go ahead um, and blend out so that we have like yeah, like that. Oop, perfect. So we're just gonna. I'm just brushing off the excess of this brush so when I blend. The only shimmer shade that's in there, uh, paralyzed, it's a pearlized and it's called K pop sunset boulevard so that's what i'm that's what i'm going to apply to my lid cosmetic six brush which is the medium oval brush and i'm gonna go ahead and use that and i'm just gonna swipe like this into the product and then i'm gonna go ahead and apply to the lid guys this color is so pretty oh my gosh so I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some more product 
a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spritz it with some Fix Blush. Not Fix Blush. Uh, Smashbox Primer Water. And I'm going to apply because I want some more intensity. Oh my gosh, guys. This color, though. By far, all I have to say about these brushes is that they're amazing and I'm actually super happy and I think I'm going to keep these brushes specifically to use with my ColourPop. I have so many ColourPop shadows and so many ideas as to what I want to do with ColourPop shadows, but I've struggled so hard to find like a good synthetic brush that actually works well with me. So now we're going to go ahead and do the other eye and we're going to do the same thing. Pick up a little more product and I'm going to spritz a, like one spray of the primer water. And I'm going to go ahead and apply to the other eye. Color that I wanted to use. But, I mean, I don't know. Who cares? I'm just going to go for it because... I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Alright. So, and stuff. Um, so, I realized that on this side, I need a little more product considering the other side. So, I'm just going to go ahead back in with this. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, apply a little more. Just because I want it to be even. Go. just a little bit not a lot um, and then I'm gonna go back in with that blending brush from the same one that I was telling you about which is number seven and just blend it out comes with um, an eyeliner brush like a small thing that you can use as well for your eyebrows so I'm gonna go ahead and um, do that because like I said I'm gonna go ahead Alright, so after I've already brushed my brows with the spoolie, I'm going to go ahead in with the angled brush, um, eyeliner brush, which is number 11 from that um, brush set. And I'm going to go ahead with a powder, actually. And I'm just going to go ahead. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills in um, Caramel. So I'm just going to go ahead and see how this works. So I actually don't have um, a pomade for my brows, which it, that's initially what I wanted to use, but I gave that away and it kind of like got old to be honest. So I'm just going to use a brush for this. Use a powder, I mean. And we're just going to go ahead and um, apply the product. Oh, this brush is really good. I'm actually really liking this. Um, the brush is really good. You have very, um, you can like, it's not flimsy. It's very tightly packed. So I feel like you have full control of your brush and how much product and where you go and how light and how feathery you want it which is really good because my issue with a lot of um, angled brushes is sometimes it's too big sometimes it's too fluffy and when it's too fluffy and stuff like that it's really hard for you to really get precise um, precise angles so to speak So, ahead and doing that. Um, so yeah, I'm not doing anything too fancy with my brows, um, just very lightly. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set it with a clear brow gel from Milani, just to make sure everything stays and we're all good for the rest of the day. <laughs> all right, here we go. All right, so I go ahead in with um, the bronzer. I had the blush with me, like I swear I had the blush with me. 
and I don't know it just like disappeared I was trying to look for it before this video but I couldn't find it so I'm super mad uh, so I'm gonna go in with the angled brush here and I'm just gonna dab it in there and this is the angled um, powder brush I'm gonna just dab it in like that a little bit and then go ahead and bring it in oh yes oh look at that okay so one thing that I realized about this brush that I really love is it doesn't um, pack a lot of product so maybe it picks up a lot of product but it applies it very lightly so it's not splotchy you don't have a lot of product in one place it's really really nice I really like that I'm actually this is probably gonna be my new favorite brush to be honest oh my gosh guys I'm so happy this brush is actually really good yeah, because like my issue is sometimes I overpack some product and depending on the brush that you're using, sometimes the brush transfers super easily and you get like a lot of product in like one place. I'm actually super happy um, about how this product applies because the brush is amazing and um, it's synthetic so it'll pick up bronzer um, from ColourPop and stuff. So yeah. Oh my gosh, you don't even understand right now. <sighs> this is beautiful. All right, so I'm um since I couldn't since I couldn't find um let me see hold on. Yeah. So since I couldn't find um since I couldn't find the blush that I use that I had with K-pop, I know it's around here somewhere. Um, I'm gonna use a different one. Um, I'm going to use her highlight, which is K-Pop Glow Up, which is a beautiful bronzy glow. Um, I forgot to mention that the bronzer is K-Pop Bronze Me. Um, for anyone who wanted to know, the highlight that is, the highlight that is, um, I mean the blush, the blush is called Flushed. Um, I just don't have it. So, so I'm actually going to use the number two, um, bigger powder brush kind of, and I'm going to apply the highlight on the side and then I'm going to do it that way just because, um, yeah, cause they don't really have a highlight brush in there and this applies just as well and it's flat. So it's not even like, um, like a face brush or anything like that so it actually applies super well and it's synthetic so I'm gonna get the best um, product out of this oh this highlight guys all right and we're gonna go ahead and apply this to the other side as well and then after that we're gonna go ahead in with the blush No, because I promise I'm using every single brush and I'm gonna make it up now because it's spring and I'm gonna just go in I have this is wow this is a really first for everything video I have not used this blush and this is the Milani powder brush this is a bright color but it's coral and so I'm gonna go ahead and um yeah, I'm actually going to use the brush that I used for the bronzer. I'm just my bronzer brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this very lightly. This is a very pigmented blush, so, I mean, I've tried the other ones, but this color I have not. And so I'm just going to go ahead and super lightly apply this because it's very, 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 see, very, very pigmented, guys. So I'm going to go in with that powder brush and just blend everything. One dab is enough, and then I'm going to go ahead and apply to the other side, like this. And I'm going to go back in with that um, other number two brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and um, blend everything out here. Um, so yeah, 
I'm going to go ahead with this um, shader brush right here. I'm dropping the number five shader brush. And I'm going to just go into the highlight. And I'm going to apply a little bit here. Because this side of my face just doesn't pick up product for some reason. But this side works just fine. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply some highlight to my cupid's bow. Right here. Alright, and we're going to actually go ahead and take that and I'm going to add it to my inner corner. Now that I think about it. So we're going to use that as our inner corner highlight. Okay, there we go. So we're pretty much done. I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna go ahead um, with that big brush, and I'm just I'm not really gonna bake, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder, brush it off, and I'm just gonna clean up under here, and do the same to the other side. And this really just um, clean frames your face and cleans it out. So we are looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara and I'm gonna use the so I went ahead and I added um, my mascara and I'm just gonna go ahead with a Crenshaw and a flat definer brush from that same uh, you know the brush set and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply to my lower lash line I felt like I'm missing something everything on top um for my lip um i'm just gonna go ahead with this last spring color from anastasia beverly hills and i'm gonna add that to my lips so this is craft from anastasia beverly hills this one actually uh feels so much different than all the other liquid lipsticks to be honest um so that pretty much completes my review and look that I did. It's actually kind of like a get ready with me. Um, anyways, so I, um, as well as the brushes, these brushes are amazing, guys, to be honest. Um, I need to stop saying to be honest, but um, I really like these brushes. This is probably one of my favorite sets from BH Cosmetics, and I'm probably going to use these all the time when I use my color pop because they're synthetic and this brush right here is my favorite like bronzing for color pop um I can't wait to try this for other but in terms of color pop this is an a game brush like you need this so yeah um the palette's only tw uh the brush it set is only $22 it comes with 14 uh brushes and I believe so um yeah um I'm going to leave you guys now. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And I'll see you guys back here again.